Welcome to my video once again. In this video, I will be speaking on a medicinally very important and also graceful tree called Putranjiva, commonly known as Child Life Tree, Indian Amulet Tree, Lucky Bean Tree, and Wild Olive. There are different vernacular names in India which have been shown in the subtitles of this video. Its botanical name is Putranjiva Roxbargi, belonging to family Putranjivesi. The famous botanist William Roxburg, who is called the father of Indian botany, recognized this tree. Another famous botanist, Nathaniel Wallach, gave it a nomenclature and published in 1826. The generic name Putranjiva originated from its Hindi and Sanskrit names, and a specific name was given in honor of Roxburg. It is an elegant evergreen tree with long pendant branches bearing dense evergreen glossy leaves with wavy margins. Its majestic look is due to geometry of its foliage, not because of flowers which are small in size. It can attain a height of about 12 meter. The tree is commonly dioecious, that means male and female flowers are produced in separate trees. So, for seed production, both types of trees should be there. The tree blooms during March to May, but for seed maturity, it takes about one year. The species is generally found in evergreen forest, moist dry deciduous forest, and in sacred groups in India. In drier areas, it is found on sandy river banks and swampy ground. Regarding its distribution, it is found in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Indochina, Malaysia, Indonesia, and New Guinea. In Indian subcontinent, the species is mainly found in the foothills and in lower slopes at the base of Himalayas and in the southern peninsula. It is also found in eastern Ghats. In Karnataka, it is found in Bengaluru, Belgavi, Chikmangaluru, Chitradurga, and in North Canada districts. The species is found in wild in Kulgi and Virnali forest ranges in Halial Taluk of North Canada district. Its conservation status is not yet evaluated. About its uses, because of its aesthetic value, the tree is most suitable for planting along roadsides, in apartment premises, parks, etc. The species has got high pollution tolerant index and so very ideal for planting in green belt development so as to serve as a barrier and also to act as a sink for air pollution. It is one of the most suitable Indian tree species to make beautiful hedge and live skin by clipping its branches. Even beautiful topiary in different attractive shapes can be also made by trimming its branches. We can see Putranjiva trees in Delhi along race course road on the road leading to Rastapati Bhavan from INS India at Shakti Stall and in front of Tinmuti Bhavan. In Bengaluru also one can see this tree in Lalbag Garden, Dhanavantri Bana, BGS layout Jakur and in many other locations. The tree is also found in dry places as seen in Barakaman premises Almaty Garden located in Vijayapura district of Karnataka. It is also found in Jagadish Chandra Bose Botanic Garden in Howrah, Biodiversity Park Hyderabad, Botanical Garden in Chandigarh, IIT Campus Mumbai, Prominent Roads in Calcutta and in Hyderabad. These are only few examples. Its wood is moderately hard and local is used to make tool handles, house building and ternary. Putranjibi seed kernel oil can be used as biodiesel. The seed oil is also useful as preservative against spoilage by insects and fungi for storage of seeds like peanuts without affecting germination. About its medicinal uses. Over the centuries, medicinal and aromatic plants have been used in daily life for primary health care in spite of progress in modern medical and pharmaceutical industries. As per WHO estimates, 
Over 80% of the world population, mostly in developing countries, use traditional herbal medicines to fight illness and to maintain health. According to IUCN and WWF, about 60,000 flowering plants are used for medical purposes worldwide. India also uses about 7,000 such plants species in herbal medicines. Putranjibo is known for its high medicinal values and is considered as most important Ayurvedic herb. Its leaves, fruits and seeds are used for treatment of various illness. Various research reports indicate that its leaves, fruits, root and stems contain polyphenolic compounds like glycosides, saponins, triterpenes and flavonoids which are associated with many therapeutic properties. The leaves contain more phytochemicals than seeds and bark. Due to presence of these phytochemicals, Putranjiva has got many pharmacological properties such as antimicrobial, antipyretic, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, analgesic, anthelmintic, cytotoxic, hypoglycemic, insecticidal, and larvicidal actions. As per available information, the paste of its leaves and seeds is externally applied to treat burning sensation, filarial, inflammatory, eye diseases, skin diseases like allergic pimples, swollen and inflamed joints, and knee pain. Its seed powder is orally used in burning sensation, thirst, elephantiasis, constipation, painful urination, ophthalmic, aphrodisiac, semen disorders, infertility, and diseases of female reproductive organs. Fine paste of seeds is applied over forehead to get relief from headache. Leaf bark decoction with pepper or ginger powder is given to get relief from cold, headache, and fever. For treating irregular menstruation, fine seed powder in decoction of sesame seeds with palm jaggery is given. Its leaf decoction is also used to treat rheumatism. Grass leaves are used to swollen throats of animals. The seeds of putranjiva is used to treat recurrent pregnancy loss. Its seeds also act as good antidote against snake venom. Based on some belief systems, the rosaries and necklaces made from the seeds of Prutranjiva are worn by children to keep them in good health. These are also sometimes worn by pregnant women to prevent miscarriage. Many ethno-medicinal survey project the use of Putranjibi as a conception promoting and male progeny promising drug, even though no such scientific evidences are available so far. Ayurvedic medicine called Putranjiba beads, manufactured by Patanjali Ayurvedic Kendra, became controversial during 2015 as opposition political leaders complained that this product is being marketed promising male child who is against gender equality. The controversy ended when Baba Ramdev clarified that the drug is for treatment of infertility only and not for sex selection. Other few Putranjiba based Ayurvedic formulations are also available in the market. For example, Leucap as uterine tonic and wise par, which is recommended to treat male sterility and for general health. It is to be noted that all herbal medicines should be taken only under the guidance of physician, Ayurvedic practitioners, primary health providers. Lastly, let us discuss about its propagation and cultivation. The species is mainly propagated through seeds. Seeds are collected during January to April depending on locations. Seeds should be 
soaked in water for 24 hours and thereafter sown in beds or directly in container bags. Seeds viability is maximum up to 7 days. Hence, fresh seeds should be used. Examination takes place after 3 weeks. Due to hard seed coat, only about 50% germination is achieved. Small size seedlings raised in container bags can be planted at closer specimen for hedge purpose, while for avenue and garden planting, tall seedlings should be planted at about 5 meter apart. Let us grow this valuable plant and conserve it. Thanks for watching.